ousted Egyptian President Hosni Mubarak being transferred from a military hospital to a courtroom in Cairo earlier this month. The 88-year-old was acquitted of complicity in the deaths of more than 200 demonstrators who'd taken to the streets during the uprising of 2011. Mubarak was sentenced to life in prison the following year, but that verdict was later overturned and a retrial ordered. The former president had denied any involvement in the killing of protesters and claimed he'd be remembered as a patriot. Placed under house arrest at a military hospital, Mubarak attended court hearings on a stretcher, prompting much speculation about his health. He was the first leader to go on trial in the wake of the Arab Spring and was convicted on charges of embezzlement in May 2014. This week, his lawyer successfully argued that the three-year sentence imposed for that crime had been served while Mubarak was waiting to be tried for ordering the killing of protesters. Hundreds of thousands of people had joined anti-government rallies which erupted across Egypt in January 2011. More than 840 demonstrators are believed to have been killed after security forces cracked down on mass protests. But many of those who led the protests against him remain in prison, including the man who succeeded him as Egypt's first democratically elected leader. Mohamed Morsi was overthrown by the military a year after taking power. His supporters claim the charges against him and hundreds of others are politically motivated. Meanwhile, Mubarak is expected to return to his home in Cairo sometime this week.